Hi, I'm Convert. I'm Louis Leo. I'm Atik Raza. We are here to discuss uh, our philosophy on philanthropy and uh, why are we involved with uh, HOH. I'll start uh, by saying, you know, I actually look at this more as uh, being in Silicon Valley more, more than investment. And for investment, you have to see, is the cause right? And is the team which executing the cause the right team to do it? In HOH, we have a cause which uh, brings people up, not only provide them shelter, but gives them the education. With, uh, with success and, and privilege comes great obligation. And so spoke to me about Home of Hope and what I think is special and unique about it is the immediate impact of each dollar that's contributed to the organization. And when you spend time with the, the leadership and you see where the dollars are going and you see that there's really no overhead taken off the top. Um, what's remarkable about HOH is the people involved are, are giving their own time and their own money. And what attracted me to Home of Hope is that uh, it really provided a path for the most hopeless of uh, the lowest strata of society that quite frequently is left unheard, unseen. And many of them uh, consist of kids who could be doctors and lawyers and teachers of tomorrow, uh, but they are sold into slavery in many cases, little girls uh, that are treated so poorly. So it is virtually impossible to look away. It's impossible not to do something about it. And that's why, you know, basically I contribute to Home of Hope and try to persuade others to join the cause like you did with Louis. You know, interesting thing is, you know, I, when I got initially involved, I looked at this, okay, I'm going to provide them with some seed funding and uh, to see how it develops. And over the last few years, uh, you know, it has moved from C funding to A round to B round. And now instead of them asking for money, I ask them, okay, what are we going to invest in this year? And having uh, all volunteer organization run primarily by women uh, who are spending, you know, their own time without, as you said, without any real compensation or anything. And they're passionate about it. And the other interesting thing is, you know, every dollar we invest in it, because they have now network of charities in India, that translates into multiple dollars because those charities are also getting funding from others. So once they select a cause, you can see the results of your investment uh, quite directly. And I visited uh, some of the centers which uh, sort of I funded. And it's really interesting to see, Adik, as you said, these underprivileged people who would have been either sold in slavery or used as uh, slaves uh, uh, or not any interesting jobs, uh, those kids are really passionate about growing up. I call it the full cycle of slums to success. And that's HOH is one of the few ones who does all that cycle, you know, provide shelter, educates them, and then helps them into getting a career. So you can actually, within a few years, you can actually see the results of what you are investing in. And you know, that generates more passion in you to help them more. Uh, when you get involved in any organization, um, you want to be successful. And what, what I come away with every time I visit with Home of Hope is impact that I can see, feel, and touch. Mm -hmm. And that's, um, for me, uh, part of the reason I, I keep coming back. I, I would say the second thing is is um, the ability to be part of a team uh, that is so special and unique. And the leadership of uh, Home of Hope has inspired me, starting with you, Conwar, uh, who has always inspired me. And, and uh, I, I think that the ability to, to, to have impact and do great things sets it apart. So there are many charities that provide uh, support for young kids in India. But uh, the uniqueness of Home of Hope is that so it's an all-volunteer organization where whatever money you contribute goes directly to the recipients. And that made a big difference plus uh, association with Nilma Sabarwal and Neelam and yourself 
uh, and you particularly convert played also a role in guiding this strategy which basically gives me the confidence that as you correctly uh, earlier pointed out that the money will not be going astray that it will be better directed and that the results will be visible and they are and then i've turned around and done the same thing that you're doing i've reached out to my friends uh, including Vinod Khosla, who has continuously every year increased the amount of uh, uh, money that he contributes. Other thing I like about it is each one of the members of HUH, they are directly involved with few of the causes we are investing in, right? So they are personally involved in working with those charities, making sure that the money is spent wisely. And, you know, we have these budgetary meetings uh, at least I do with them to make sure, are we getting the return on investment? How are we measuring the impact? As we said, you know, if I invest this, what will be the impact? And they have people involved who are, you know, more directly working with those charities, uh, uh, young uh, kids, uh, relatively young entrepreneurs, and they are also making sure that the causes are being handled properly. So that's why I'm saying the organization is designed to make sure that the investments have the right impact. And uh, that's great. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the success we have had in the Valley as entrepreneurs or as lawyers, we can also see success by contributing to this cause, which really has impact on life of lots of people. The uh, ability to give back is something that Home of Hope offers me uh, that I find fulfilling and um, inspiring. Absolutely. It's fulfilling, it's inspiring, it is uh, really our obligation to give back.